you know, like history is so long ago and you're not supposed to like just like history can be erased or mm -hmm. it can be remembered, bro. <laughs> erased because that. This lady is a prime example of her wanting to understand who she is. Mm. And she cannot understand who she is through the system. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to tell her. Right. So she has to go figure it out for herself. They pick and choose what they want the next generation of learners to learn. Right? So now you see in states <coughs> where they're taking away black American and African American history mm. um, and replacing it with Asian and Pacific Islander history. Right? Why you had to take away one to learn the other? Why not just teach history as it happened? What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and we're back with another video who we got today see today we're back with another american reaction super excited about this video guys if you're new to us and we're new, new to you make sure you scroll down hit, hit that, that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road, road to 100k and we cannot get there without you guys all right join the family without further ado let's get into the video there's some people who have never heard of the island of Samoa ever. I would give up personally and I would say, Dude, have you heard of Hawaii? It's near there. In reality, it's not near there at all. <laughs> Many people think we're just passive people. They often mistake it with being lazy. Lazy. Hawaiians being lazy. lazy. And even when I tell them, oh, I'm from Guam. I'm like, you're from Guam? Where's Guam? I think that's the worst thing you could tell a person. Mm -hmm. Especially if they work hard. Like, naturally work hard. Like, you see them working hard, and then you back doing what you're lazy. Right. Oh, boy. I, boy, don't, boy. I don't know where that comes from. I feel like it's the people who's privileged the most who say you're lazy. I think they say you're lazy because you don't want to do what they ask. Mm, for pennies. For pennies. I would tell people that I'm Tongan, they would be like, so is that like Hawaiian? Um, is that like the hula dances and the luau's? And oftentimes I would just have to settle and say that that's close enough. I think when you say Pacific Islanders, the first thing that comes to most people's minds are big sports stars or big athletes. We're actually um, pigeonholed into the athletic category, but I was never one to be really into sports. I've never played sports, and when I tell them that, they insist that I should play sports <laughs> because that's going to be a waste of height, and it's in my genes. I've been called flying Hawaiian, or I'll be asked to do the haka, which is not really um, a Samoan thing. They insist they know more about myself than I actually do know about myself. Hawaii was illegally annexed to the United States. A bunch of American businessmen wanted to have access to the land, and they got the support of the U.S. Navy, and they basically told the Queen, you can let us have rights to your land, or we can fire on you and destroy you. We are citizens of the United States. While the people back on the islands don't get to vote for president, we are some of the, the small group of citizens in the United States that don't actually have presidential voting rights. And I distinctly remember asking my professor, you know. Yeah, that's a tough one. Y'all just taught us something. Because cause we thought. Mm. Hold up. Everybody I got had rights. Mind. I thought everybody had rights. Like, once you become a citizen. Right. I didn't know that you, just because you're a citizen, the, and you because of where you're from, you can't have rights to vote. Is it the territories or. Hold up. I need. Uh, hold up. Because. Are they talking about Hawaii? Nah, they talking about America. Are, they, are they just talking about the territories? You got to back it up. Cause hold up. Let me hear it. I think this is good. While the people back on the islands don't get to vote for president, we are some of the, the small group of citizens in the United States that don't actually have presidential voting rights. And I citizens of the United States, mm -hmm. not moving yeah, there citizens. to become citizens. Yeah. Citizens. They were born. They was born there. In the U.S. territory, and they cannot vote for presidents. That's another. Because of where they're from. Yeah. Although they are Americans. So that's just another way to suppress the interests of the people. And that's a, and, and again, she did mention that's as a true. small group. So how many people know about this? It's small, you know but it's, 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 it's big. Hundreds and probably over a million, probably millions of people. But how many it's people small. know this, though? I don't think no one really knows this. I, this is my I mean, first time hearing this. I, mean, I thought once you was in the U.S., or born in the U.S., you get to, you have voting rights. Yes, but that's a territory. Okay. So... I don't, I don't know. I would love to know, like, our Filipino um, supporters. 
and Puerto Rican supporters. Like, what what do y'all think about this? Hmm. Do y'all deal with the same thing? Because I remember actually studying this in in school um, about the voting rights and who can vote and about the territories, but it didn't hit me like that in school because. I was just learning for the test, <laughs> right? You know, and learning for basic knowledge. And if it didn't really, you know, if it wasn't about the continental United States at that time, honestly, I didn't really. It didn't register like it's registering now. Right, because adult. you can stand on it now. But then you just had to remember it. Right, I couldn't vote then. I can even vote then, now. <laughs> right, even though, like that's crazy how you know? some things didn't play a role in your life until it's time for you to actually do it. Right. And the, oh, I gotta remember this every day now. And understanding people's struggles. Yeah. Because there's some um, U.S. citizens who don't vote, and I'm <laughs> like, baby, you need to vote before your your right to vote be taken away. Then you're gonna have a problem mm. because there's people like this where our um, laws affect them, but they can't even vote for it. So. Ooh, that's that's deep. Vote for or against it. I distinctly remember asking my professor, it was the first year of school, did the syllabus, and it was the upper division course, like the last part of your Asian American studies class, and I asked him, are we ever going to learn about Pacific Islanders? And he's like, well, unfortunately there isn't a professor who can talk about Pacific Islanders. We won't be able to highlight that. And I was just really upset, and I remember just feeling like, I'm going to self-teach myself if I have to. I'm going to look at schools that have Pacific Islander uh, studies and teach myself about myself, and that's like the one hard thing. And then y'all look at us talking about, you know, that, you know, like history so long ago, and you're not supposed to, like, just, like, history can be erased, or mm -hmm. it can be remembered, bro. <laughs> erased, because huh? This lady is a prime example of her wanting to understand who she is. Mm. And she cannot understand who she is through the system. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to tell her. Right. So she has to go figure it out for herself. They pick and choose what they want the next generation of learners to learn. Right? So now you see in states <coughs> where they're taking away black American and African American history mm. um, and replacing it with Asian and Pacific Islander history. Right? Why you had to take away one to learn the other? Why not just teach history as it happened? What is history? Okay, okay, so not, not the mama's year <laughs> came out thing I had to do. Growing up, um, seeing things on TV, Hawaiians weren't really portrayed in such a positive way. And then when they think of Islanders, they always think of like hula dancers or Lilo and Stitch type characters. Tiki's and hula dancing, the wrong kind of hula dancing. It's tough um, growing up as a Pacific Islander and maybe feeling that you don't fit into those things that are presented in mainstream media. The roles I would go out for would be like accented English, foreign exchange student, Harajuku girl, or like a prostitute. What are some strong values within your cultures? Oh yes, family is number one. We always 100%. look out for one another. Sometimes I feel like nothing else matters in the world. All that matters is if we have each other. All my cousins, we all consider each other brother and sisters. And even if people call us like, hey, that's your cousin, like, no, nah, that's my brother. We always want to feed everybody. A lot of humility is rooted in being Pacific Islander in general. Stories are so important, and we would hear from my grandparents and their generation all the stories from when they were growing up. And especially for people from the Mariana Islands, stories typically involve war um, and the impact that World War II had on the islands and on our grandparents' generation as they were growing up. My grandmother, when she was 16 years old, was put into a camp. She found out that she was going to be killed, and she fled with her siblings, all down to age two, into a cave where she lived for 18 months. She collected coconuts for water, and she told us how you could make clothing out of coconuts, wow. how you could literally survive off of the coconut. I actually, myself, took like a touristy, like, canoe paddling trip with my dad where we like paddle canoe for a couple hours with this guy who was a guide. He was saying, you know, the native population was wiped out, was just decimated by Captain Cook and like British and American sailors because Hawaiians were not immune to those diseases. Because of that and because of our dwindling numbers, like the Hawaiian race is going to disappear. I just felt such sadness and loss that like our people and our culture will disappear. Oh my God, it's making me emotional just thinking about it. I couldn't imagine waking up one day looking at the news and say that the black community is at numbers at ease. They are down to three to none. I don't see that either. I can't, <laughs> boy, I can't picture that. Nah, nah. Thank God, Lee. Nah. That must be hard for It is. Man. <clears throat> must be hard for Man. Um. <laughs> it's very 
sad. It's very sad when you know that your people are going to fade into time and history. Take into what if that was a hist what if that was a, a race that did go extinct that we didn't know about? I think they have some in some. I'm pretty sure they have been, but like like in like in real spec time, like, oh, like they don't like talk today. about it. No, not even today. I'm talking about the history. Like and they don't really make it a, a conversation. But I mean when you look back on like um when we're learning about the the first peoples, the giants and things like that, mm -hmm. that's a part of that. You know? Wiped out. Okay. Just, just a thought, y'all. We are real people. <laughs> We're tangible. We're not your island destination for a getaway. We have a culture that is different from many others around the world, and we have kind of our unique place in the middle of the Pacific. Hawaii is really special. The land is alive. It is old. It's really powerful. It's, it's just very special knowing that you have a connection to that. If you don't know, ask. Don't just assume. Chamorro people are here. We're a small group, but we are absolutely here. <laughs> Especially with our Pacific Islander people. It's okay to struggle. We all struggle. Especially as um, minorities within a minority. You just have to push through. <sighs> oh my god. Every time we react to, like, not really a new culture, but, like, and when we start highlighting new cultures on the channel, it it just makes me feel, I don't know, it's indescribable. Because you guys send these videos in and it's like little old us. Y'all trust little old us to share it. Like, we, we, you know, like in comparison to other spaces of the internet like y'all trust little old us to share it and you guys have i don't think y'all understand the impact that y'all have had on us yeah big facts speaking generally on the channel um when we look at places to travel it's different now we don't just look at it like he said as an island destination we look at it we want to connect with the people the culture and the land you know we want to learn y'all way of life and that is how we all grow by learning each other's way of life and having a sense of understanding yeah everything has a beginning stage to it nothing is just like a destination that you just want to pull up to right. i feel like realizing what the source of a location is is so much being meaningful you know what i'm saying to the to the traveler to the viewer mm -hmm. to the person that's experiencing it for the first time people always want to bring back um what do they call the tokens and stuff back home with them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's souvenirs in yeah. relation to what they have just experienced. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a memory, an experience is so much more, you know, relatable to at the same time. Right. You know, so relationships are more powerful. So. Right, right. And man, look. I don't know. It's just I love that it's us that's learning it because I'm I'm sad that we didn't learn this stuff in school. You know, but because we're learning it and our children are still so young and when we go to these places and they're they're going to learn it before they're adults, you know, and it's going to make them better humans overall, you know, as they travel and journey this world. Mm -hmm. Life yep. is beautiful. It is. Life is beautiful. So we hope you guys enjoy this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks, thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.